Over the course of the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can quickly design and create a digital coupon. A digital coupon that customers can store and use in Apple Wallet and Google Pay. So I'm logged in at app.parskit.com and I've come to my dashboard. Now, if you've just recently signed up to app.parskit.com, you may not see as many projects as, as I have here, but you will see this button called New Project. I'm going to click on that button, New Project, and you can see I'm presented with three options. Now, these options will continue to grow in Parskit as more best practices are bought through the starter wizard. But this is the quickest way for you to get started with a digital card. You've got loyalty cards, you know, the sorts of things where you might be keeping track of points or money spent, membership cards, good use for identification, like joining a gym or a VIP program. Uh, you can attach a picture of the, the member on the card. But today we're going to focus in on coupons. So converting your paper coupons or your static email coupons uh, into live engaging digital coupons uh, that sit within consumers' native wallet. Contactless coupons, indeed, as we see more and more people demanding no more paper, no more email, uh, no more printing, and being able to store things in an application that sits in their phone already. So let's click on next. In this case, you could see if you had started with something already, it would ask you if you want to continue with the draft that you'd already started. In this case, we're going to start over. Um, if you hadn't started one before, you won't see that message. Uh, and because we want you to get this coupon in your phone as quick as possible so you can feel what it's like to have that digital coupon in your phone, you could just quick, you could just tap on continue, next, next, next on every page and use the default images that we've set here and uh, the default fields and then instantly see that in your phone and then go back to it in the designer later. But in this case, I'm going to show you how you can upload your own images, uh, select a couple of options that might be best appropriate for you and your digital coupon just so you can do this and follow along with us. Okay, so let's click on continue. So you have the option to put your campaign details in here. So again, this is your text. So um, for this campaign, I'm going to be calling these June offers. Um, and these are Burger King's and then if you have a particular time zone that's relevant for your business, relevant for these coupons, you can choose from there. I'm just going to keep it in my current time zone. Click next. And then my first offer within that campaign, uh, this is I'm going to give chicken sandwiches for $4.99. And then we just put chicken sandwiches. Okay, and then any offer details that you want to appear on the pass itself on the digital coupon. Uh, we've put some example text here, but you can delete that, copy and paste over from your existing coupon campaigns, enter new text in here. Um, again, that is your free text to, to write in anything you want. You could delete all of that, overwrite it, use this as a baseline, whatever works for your coupon. Now I'm going to click on expiry settings. Now, individual coupons can be valid for up to 90 days. So when we choose the start date, the end date can be anything up to 90 days from there. So I think we're going to start, uh, let, you know, let's check here. We're going to start the coupon today. Um, and instead of ending on the 10th of July in a month's time, we're going to end it actually at the end of July uh, maybe I should have called it June and July offers, and redemption start and end date. So this means that I could start issuing my coupons. And then if it was okay for people to come in and use that coupon today, then I would start on the same date. Uh, let's take a look at that. I'm actually going to say they can come in and start redeeming the offer tomorrow. Redemption end date, we're going to say, is on the same as the uh, offer end date. A couple of expiry settings. I can either expire on the redemption end date. I can expire on the offer end date. Um, I, exp I can, If I'm integrating with other systems, I can provide that uh, when the coupon gets issued. Or indeed, I could say it's a fixed period after enrollment. So if I wanted to say someone has enrolled 30 days after that, um, it, get, it expires, uh, signs up for a coupon tomorrow, then 30 days after tomorrow would show as the expiry date. In this case, I'm just going to put expires on offer end date, so that'll be on the 31st of July. 
All right, let's carry on here. Uh, data collection enrollment upon enrollment. So you can use the standard basket enrollment page, uh, which will be created based on your selection. So if you did want to capture uh, unique personalized information when someone signs up for a coupon, you can choose out of these four within the wizard, and we will simply create that data collection page. Because this is a coupon, uh, I'm looking to drive people into my business. I'm not necessarily looking at this stage to pull unique information and learn more about my customer's name, birthday, email, or phone number. But you can do this. And indeed, if you want to get even more sophisticated, you can integrate uh, with your existing uh, CRM systems or other systems that you have client data if you want to do an integration with the Pask API. I'm just going to quickly whiz through this and not do any data collection upon enrollment. And in fine, that is a better practice for coupons. Just get the coupon in the phone, and then you know you can take advantage of push messages, lots screen messages and ultimately driving people into your business so we click on that uh, now what do I just want to display on the pass and as I mentioned the wizard has really taken all of the best practices uh, and, and presents this to you so you don't really even need to think and we put uh, those in in the best location on the pass and in this case I'm going to choose expiry date that's going to be shown on the pass I want to show the offer details I don't really need to show the offer title in this case um, or I'm choosing not to I just click on next. Now I can personalize this pass. Like I said, if you just click next, that logo would be used and you'd see that in Apple Wallet and Google Pay. I'm going to use the logo that I've prepared earlier. So it's a Google uh, logo for Burger King, which is at the dimensions of 660 by 660 pixels. Choose that. And you can now see, oh, instantly displayed there. Um, now Apple the icon that appears on the lock screen. Now, Apple allows you to deliver change messages to Apple users. So when something changes on the pass, you can actually deliver a message onto, onto the lock screen. And that comes along with a logo. So again, I'm just going to select the icon that I've made before already for Burger King 87 by 87. Click on next there. Now here's the strip image or hero image for Apple. Um, Apple and Google are different sizes. So we are gonna ask, uh, the first step is to upload an Apple strip image, which I've prepared earlier, 1125 by 432. I'm gonna choose that. You see that up nicely updates. You can see I'm gonna be changing the background color. Uh, that background color has been automatically chosen from the logo at this stage, but we're gonna be able to change that uh, in two steps. I then click to the next one, upload Google Hero image. So instead of cropping the Apple Hero image and not, it not looking perfect, we want you to have the perfection um, in each and every pass. So I've created a Hero image for Google, which is 1032 by 336 pixels. And I upload that, largely the same, just so I don't get any cropping on that image. You can see that here. So now it's uh, giving me a representation of what that pass looks like. Now, this is where I choose the colors. So in this case, Burger King, I know they use a particular color that I can enter in here, um, or I can actually play around if that's it's about that color they typically use for their coupons at this time. I could enter their exact hex number if that's what you've got, or you can play around and see what looks nice. We can automatically choose a color from a logo, which you'd seen before, or even if you wanted to, automatically choose a color from a hero image. So you click on that, Pasket does its magic, chooses the best color that suits the hero image that you've updated. Now, I do want to make sure that the text appears in black and we have the ability to choose the text color on Apple Passes, so I'm gonna make that black. Again, I could choose it, put in a hex code that suits my brand and is aligned with my brand design guidelines. I'm gonna click Next. This is the place you are able to set the barcode settings. So if you're using this coupon to scan at a point of sale, so you're maybe you're embedding an SKU or you're embedding a unique ID that gets recognized at the point of sale to then redeem a coupon, then you can do that. In the case of Burger King, as you've probably seen from one of our masterclasses and a couple of other tutorials that we've given, they're not using any integration with point of sale. They're using our customer initiated redemption. So the customer clicks on a link to redeem the pass and then shows a number. So I don't need a barcode in this case, but of course you could choose whatever you wanted here. And then you have a little bit of ability to say what you want to appear under the barcode and what you want in the barcode itself. But in this case, we're choosing no barcode, very simple, straightforward forward coupon. I click next. You're almost done. Just have a quick little look to see if it all looks good. 
and save and next and now it's going to create my coupon okay so now it's presenting me a qr code which i can scan using my phone so i can see exactly what this coupon looks like inside apple wallet and google pay in this case i'm going to use my iphone and i can scan this and you can see it quickly opens up the qr code i can click on that link it opens the pass and there you can see it's a great uh, looking pass which has got the expiry date i was expecting the logo i expect uh, the hero image and the colors that i've chosen within that and pretty much within minutes i've now got the baseline and the first digital pass inside apple wallet if i click on add it's there and then if i want to go and see that in apple wallet i can click on here and it finds it for me now at the moment i'll just see for details there because this is a test pass we'll just see this is not for commercial use but that'll be a next step that you go into the designer to further perfect what you want to appear on the back of the pass maybe adding some more details or fine tweaking choosing what you want the pass to look like when it's been redeemed but that's how easy it is to use the project starter wizard thanks for watching